Good afternoon. Um, my name is Hannah Lee, and I'm a grade nine student in the TOPS program at Mark Garneau Collegiate Institute. Um, I was born in Ottawa and moved to Toronto soon after, and my mother and father are from South Korea. Um, so, since Mr. Angus already read Shannon's statement um, earlier today, I've been asked to read the Lament for Confederation by Chief Dan George, uh, which he presented on Canada's 100th birthday, uh, July 1st, 1967. How long have I known you, O oh Canada? A hundred years? Yes, a hundred years, and many, many Selenum more. And today, when you celebrate your hundred years, O oh Canada, I am sad for all the Indian people throughout the land. For I have known you when your forests were mine, when they gave me my meat and my clothing, I have known you in your streams and rivers where your fish flashed and danced in the sun, where the water said, come, come and eat of my abundance. I have known you in the freedom of the winds, and my spirit, like the winds, once roamed your good lands. But in the long hundred years since the white man came, I have seen my freedom disappear like the salmon going mysteriously out to sea. The white man's strange customs, which I could not understand, pressed down upon me until I could no longer breathe. When I fought to protect my land and my home, I was called a savage. When I neither understood nor welcomed his way of life, I was called lazy. When I tried to rule my people, I was stripped of my authority. My nation was ignored in your history textbooks. They were little more important in the history of Canada than the buffalo that ranged the plains. I was ridiculed in your plays and motion pictures, and when I drank your fire water, I got drunk. Very, very drunk, and I forgot. Oh, Canada, how can I celebrate with you this centenary, this hundred years? Shall I thank you for the reserves that are left to me of my beautiful forests, for the canned fish of my rivers, for the loss of my pride and authority even amongst my own people, for the lack of my will to fight back? No, I must forget what's past and gone. O oh God in heaven, give me back the courage of the olden chiefs. Let me wrestle with my surroundings. Let me again, as in the days of old, dominate my environment. Let me humbly accept this new culture and through it rise up and go on. O oh God, like the thunderbird of old, I shall rise again out of the sea. I shall grab the instruments of the white man's success, his education, his skills, and with these new tools, I shall build my race into the proudest segment of your society. Before I follow the great chiefs who have gone before us, O oh Canada, I shall see these things come to pass. I shall see our young braves and our chiefs sitting in the houses of law and government, ruling and being ruled by the knowledge and freedoms of our great land. So shall we shatter the barriers of our isolation and so shall the next hundred years be the greatest in the proud history of our tribes and nations. Thank you.